Hello and welcome, I'm Saffron from saffrondemonesies.com and in this week's video we're looking at EFT for coming out of the closet. So I'm doing some work with a local LGBTQIA plus charity at the moment and I wanted to do this video in honour of that work so you can use it if you are on that spectrum and wanting to come out of the closet to the people in your life. You can use it if you want to come out of the closet about spirituality. You can use it for anything that you are kind of nervous about telling people about and that you do want to tell people about because it's always a choice. We can always decide who we tell about which aspects of our lives and it's completely fine to choose not to tell people. Um, before we begin, I would like to acknowledge how difficult this can be. It's more difficult for some people then for others it's very dependent on what it is you're coming out about and the people in your life and what their perspective is on that and how it's likely to be received. So I don't want to take this too, I, mean, I don't want to make it too serious but I also don't want to um, take away, you know, I don't want to take it too lightly, I don't want to take away the importance of, of what this can signify in people's lives. Um, because unfortunately the truth is that some um, relationships, friendships, family connections do end as a result of, of these revelations um, and that can be really really difficult to deal with. Um, so let's let's get into tapping on the, the feelings around coming out of the closet. Of course um, it's important to take responsibility for your own choices in this and make your own decision about how you want to come out of the closet and when you want to do that and to, to give some thought to the impact that that's going to have and to give yourself a break whichever decision that you make and to make sure that you have adequate support around you if there is a possibility that it is going to have a negative impact on some relationships and to accept that any negative impact that it has is not your fault at all. So after all of that rambling let's begin doing some EFT. We'll begin here on the side of the hand which we call the karate chop point and all you need to do is tap where I'm tapping and repeat what I'm saying. So even though I feel really nervous about telling people this I love and accept all of myself. Even though I'm really anxious about revealing this about myself. I don't know how people are going to react. And it feels like a really big risk. I love and accept every part of myself exactly as I am. Even though I feel so nervous about doing this and I can't help thinking what a big risk it is, I love and accept myself exactly as I am. That might feel difficult to say but do try because you are amazing exactly as you are. Move to the eyebrow. I feel all of this anxiety and all of this nervousness when I think about telling someone this thing about myself. It feels really scary. It feels like everything could change then. And I'm not sure I want everything to change. But I do know who I am. I know that this is an important part of who I am. And I think that I want other people to know that too. And it's okay if I don't. I can make this decision in my own time. 
I can give myself permission to tell people. And I can give myself permission not to. This is a really big thing for me. And I don't know how it's going to be received. I don't know what they're going to say when I tell them. Do add in the specifics for you. I don't know what they're going to say when I come out of the closet about this thing. It's really important to me. It's a part of who I am. And I have this strong pull to tell them. And that makes me feel so nervous. I don't know what they're going to say. I don't know what they're going to do. And I have no control over any of that. I have no control over what they say or do. So I wonder if I could let go of that now. That need for them to react in a certain way. I really would like them to be positive about this. And I really hope that that's what happens. But that's not something that I can influence. So I'll bring my attention back to me now. I'll bring my attention to what I can influence. And that's what I choose to do. What I choose to say. How I choose to say it. When I choose to say it. Who I choose to say it to. Those are the things that I can influence. And then it's in their hands. That feels really scary. The next bit's in their hands. And there's nothing I can do about that. I don't really like that thought. And that's okay. It's okay not to like that thought. And maybe that's enough to stop me telling them. And that's okay too. It's entirely up to me whether I tell them or whether they whether I don't. I bring my attention back to what I can influence to acting in the way that feels best to me. This feels big and scary. And I choose to show kindness to myself. I won't push myself into something I'm not ready for. And I won't make myself live a lie. I'm ready to start to decide on the best way to handle this. I am strong and capable and I can handle this. I am worthwhile and of great value no matter what any one person thinks. No matter who that person is. I love and accept every aspect of me. I recognise that all of these differences make me who I am. 
I am of great value to the world. Exactly as I am. No matter what I believe or feel. No matter who I love. I am of great value to the world. The world needs me exactly as I am. And I recognise the strength in this now. I begin to feel the strength in this now. As I choose how to move forward here. Loving and accepting all of myself. Deep breath. So the important things to take away from that for me are that you are amazing exactly as you are. You are the way that you are for a reason and it's perfect. You are absolutely perfect exactly as you are. And another important thing is that you can't control what anyone else thinks about that. Maybe there'll be some people in your life that don't agree. Maybe there'll be some people in your life that would rather that you stayed in the closet, that would rather not know. That's not your problem. That's not your fault. That's their stuff to deal with. And it's important to be able to hand that back to them. And it's not easy at all. It's never easy to, to have to do that. But the important thing for me is to come back to how am I dealing with this? Did I deal with this situation in a way that shows integrity, in a way that is consistent with my own values? And if you did that, if you do that, then you can't ask any more of yourself. So, yeah, choose, choose carefully. Show yourself kindness. Don't force yourself into anything that feels too much. Don't pressure yourself into anything that you're not ready for. Now might not be the right time for you and that is completely okay. There is no pressure and don't, yeah, don't, don't make life more difficult for yourself than it needs to be. And it might be that telling people is more difficult than it needs to be. It might be that not telling people is more difficult than it needs to be. And I acknowledge how difficult not telling people is as well. So if you need one-to-one -one sessions to kind of work out the balance there, then um, I, do have, I do have spaces available. Or if you want to talk it through with a friend that you know that you can trust, who, who's not going to have a, a bad reaction to anything that you need to tell them, then do that. Um, I hope that that was helpful. If you want to ask anything, if you want to share anything, then, then please, please do that. My details are at the end of the video. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.